Welcome. Uh, this is a, a, a discussion of Paul's third missionary journey. Third missionary journey. Uh, here is uh, the route of Paul's third missionary journey. Now, in his first missionary journey, uh, notice we, uh, in, this, in his third one, he is imprisoned in Caesarea, or he's been to Caesarea at any rate, and he moves up to Tyre, uh, probably sails across here to a lot of the areas that we have already talked about in his first missionary journey, which would have been in here, and of course his second missionary journey. So we've covered a lot of those places, but it appears he goes up along the coast here, as you can see, goes up through uh, this way, returns back uh, to, to Corinth and, and on back. So this is uh, Paul's third missionary journey. Here's another, another view of it, perhaps makes it a little clearer, that he makes a circle and a loop. So starting in Antioch, moving across, and then up and around back around and then back to Caesarea where eventually he will um, <clears throat> later be imprisoned and have his shipwreck which is when he goes to Rome. Well at any rate this would be uh, between Acts 18 and Acts 21. This would have happened around AD 54. Um, he leaves Antioch, he goes to Ephesus. Priscilla and Aquila are already in Ephesus. He is here where he makes contact to Apollos. Um, uh, he stays in Ephesus uh, uh, for an extended period of time. And uh, it's probably here during this time that he writes 1 Corinthians. Uh, it's probably in Philippi uh, that he will write 2 Corinthians, and uh, where Titus joins him there. Um, in the winter, Paul goes to Corinth, and it's here thought that's where he composes his letter to the Galatians. In AD 58, uh, this is where Paul writes the book of Romans. So this is a lot of his writing comes during the third missionary journey. Paul leaves Corinth and he goes to Philippi and then to uh, Miletus. Um, in the summer then Paul arrives in Jerusalem uh, and it's here he's arrested and sent to Caesarea. Um, from there uh, he is imprisoned uh, for a while and he is taken on a uh, journey where he is shipwrecked, ultimate goal is to get to Rome. Of course, they shipwreck uh, along in here. They, they run into a lot of uh, bad weather, and uh, they get shipwrecked, and then eventually will make their way to Rome. This would be uh, Paul's journey. Uh, it's usually called his shipwreck, or journey to Rome. In 58, Paul is arrested. He's sent to uh, Caesarea. Uh, before the governor Felix, uh, who basically uh, it stalls out there, and Paul has to stay there for quite a while. Uh, it's during this time, by the way, that uh, Nero murders Agrippina, uh, and uh, we see a lot of upheaval in Rome. About AD 60, Paul is a shipwreck. Felix is recalled and succeeded by Festus. So probably in August, uh, Paul is sent to Rome by Festus. He, basically, Festus wants to clear out all of his uh, predecessors, um, you know, things left over from his predecessor he didn't want to deal with. So Paul wants to go to Rome. He's a Roman citizen. He certainly can appeal it to the to the emperor, and it gets him out of uh, Festus. Doesn't have to deal with it anymore. In the winter, Paul is shipwrecked at Malta. And uh, so by AD 61, then, uh, through the winter, Paul will arrive in the spring in Rome. AD 62, Paul uh, is uh, there. He's still being held, waiting to see the emperor. Um, and it's probably from here that we have the prison epistles, as they're called, uh, written. Uh, depending on your idea of the authorship of Hebrews, if you think Paul wrote it, or you might think somebody else wrote it, uh, if you have Pauline authorship for Hebrews, it probably would have been during this time. Albinius succeeds Festus, and uh, the Emperor Nero gets a new wife after he had his other one killed, uh, Pompeia. Um, Mary's Pompeia, Octavia is executed. And in the autumn, Paul uh, probably writes the book of Philippians. AD 63, Paul is acquitted. Um, and uh, 
uh, he goes to Macedonia and Asia Minor. Now, what about the, the last years of Paul, uh, AD 64 to 68? Um, 64, it's possible that Paul went to Spain. Certainly he has a desire to do so. This would have been the, when the great fire of Rome can turn, uh, happened and when the um, intense persecution of Christians really uh, Nero uh, puts into place. He blames the Christians for the burning of Rome. And uh, this would have probably what led to Paul's second imprisonment. Now, some people argue Paul was only in Rome once. Okay, They have a different chronology. Following the chronology I'm presenting here, this would allow Paul to uh, visit Spain um, and uh, travel there. Uh, it's also where the Jewish wars begin in 66-67 uh, uprising back in Palestine. Uh, and most people believe that Paul was uh, in AD 67, uh, 68. Uh, Paul would have been executed then probably about AD 68. Uh, after or 67 perhaps uh, you know depends on the period but this would have been during the first Jewish revolt it would have also been after the fire of Rome Paul would have been taken back to Rome where according to uh, several early church history sources Paul was beheaded in Rome Alain Peter was uh, crucified at that time all right uh, that's it for right now uh, hope you have a great day bye